Hi guys, it's Chrissy with Chrissy's Divine Design Tarot, and today we are doing a reading for Johnny and Vanessa. Johnny Depp and his ex-wife from a while back, the one that has children with them. Vanessa, I don't know what her new name is now. She uh, divorced last year, I think, and is remarried to someone else now, as far as I am finding out. I, I didn't look it up myself, it's just from what my subscribers told me. Let's see, well, what do we have for Johnny's energy? Knight of Pentacles and a Crossroads here. Wanting to give, uh, hmm, slow and steady wins the race and maybe not having enough information to make a decision about it. So let's see, what else do we have for Johnny for a message? Uh, we're getting lots to say here, holy. All right. We have celebration possibly being strong, wish fulfillment, working, cooperating. We have the Queen of Swords, the yeah, Emperor, something wrapping up here, Queen of Pentacles, and a victory. What else do we have? Holy, okay, there's love. A tower. I'm gonna have to do this a little differently. Maybe we'll move this up here, like so. Um, let's see. There we go. Okay, and. On the bottom of the deck, we have the King of Cups. Okay. Let's see. We have a celebration here, being strong, taming the beast, trying to find a wish fulfillment or has found wish fulfillment in his work. He's able to work again, which is nice. I think he has gotten rid of this Queen of Swords, which I feel was Amber. And he has leveled up to the Emperor. He has totally wrapped up that cycle with her. And he is looking at the Queen of Pentacles. Now this could be Vanessa. Wants maybe a victory in love with her, but spirit has other um, news for them <laughs> causing a bit of conflict and chaos and uh, uncertainty here saying look there's so, supposed to be someone else you're going after you need to get into your cup of love here and bring in an offer because the Emperor can embody any of the kings, uh, this could be Johnny, or this could be someone else that is trying to offer something to this person that Spirit wants Johnny to go after. That's kind of what I'm getting right now. Let's uh, look at Clarifying, what is the Three of Cups for Johnny, please? Three of Cups for Johnny and Vanessa, what is that? Hmm, Justice. Kind of feel like that might be the idea here with uh, the blonde, ugh, what's her name, Amber. <laughs> this could have been something going on with her. She is going to receive a karma for having third parties and having Johnny uh, guess and be stuck in his head thinking that he was going crazy, that he couldn't trust his intuition. And to me, that is the biggest betrayal of all to do to someone. Yeah, very toxic. And he really tried to keep things together. Yeah, it had to be toxic love there and a choice. He really felt she was the wish fulfillment, that they were going to work together. What's the Nine of Cups here? What's the Nine of Cups? I feel like she was that Nine of Cups, very selfish. What is this? Yeah, 
It's funny because she ends up walking away from him and that's kind of the funny part when she's the one doing all of the screwing around. What's the Three of Pentacles here? Yeah, they end up getting married too and she may have walked away and then he wanted to propose. They work it out and they pro she proposes. They get married. Yeah, and then things start. <laughs> the bullying and he's trying to stand up for himself too you know and she really makes it tough that storm brewing there and that come here you know and just likes to fight yeah the knight of cups here he's all about the love and stuff and she had other things on her plate or mind what is going on here what's the knight of cups here yeah, he just wanted to have a victory and have be happy, you know, have that Knight of Cups, that heartfelt romance with her, and she was just ice cold. What's the Emperor here? What is that? What is the Emperor? Hmm. He's meant to go somewhere, and he does leave. And of course waiting for trial, waiting for his ships to come in so he can end the cycle with her. Um, and clear his name, I kind of feel that was part of all of his thing that happened there just in the last little while. Yeah, he started to really see her for what she was. And uh, <laughs> she wasn't fooling anybody anymore. Everybody got to see the real her when this all ended. What's the Queen of Pentacles about? What's that? What's the Queen of Pentacles? Yeah, I kind of feel like maybe Johnny was looking for love uh, going slow and steady, wins the race, maybe long-term plans, equal give and take. He's very generous and giving. Uh, what is the Six of Wands? He's in the public eye and probably knew that this would be a big news coming through. And he's back working. He got his victory. He got his name cleared. What about this love with Vanessa? How come the, the two of cups are here and then the tower? Ah. Working a lot. Maybe there wasn't enough time. They were both so busy all the time. And I mean, the moon doesn't necessarily mean, um, you know, uh, hidden truth or it could be a deep emotional conflict, some fear here, maybe uncontrollable imagination, mood swings. But there's the tower there and I think this is just thoughts about getting back together with Vanessa. But Spirit has something else in mind for him. Let's see. What's the tower? Why is the tower here, Spirit? Four of Cups. Needing to heal. Absolutely. Before he goes into anything else. That healing. Yeah. He's back up on top again. He's sitting on his throne again. He's back in the swing of things. He might be feeling better about himself again. What's the chaos again in his life? Why is that there? Is there competition or what's going on with the Five of Wands? Why is that here? Hmm, Ten of Cups. Oh, a divinely guided thing here. So this was broken up by the Divine bringing him towards something different. I think because she was married as well at the time um, and then now is married again and it's not to Johnny, I think spirit has veered him away from that. And it looks like the Ten of Cups is happiness but there's a little bit of competition but this is a divinely guided union. It's coming out of the clouds. It's to say, hey, 
you know, there's some passion here, but there's a lot of people fighting over your woman. You need to get in there. What's this missed opportunity? The divine doesn't want you to miss your opportunity. What is this? What is the Four of Cups, please, Spirit, for Johnny? Ah, to do with missing out on a divinely guided love offer. There is somebody that Johnny is meant to be with here. He has been veered off uh, again and again um, to where he needs to be on a certain path. There are people fighting over this woman, um, someone that's going to make him very happy, someone that's very passionate, that he's going to feel very passionately in love with. and. Spirit does not want him not to see this cup. What is the Two of Cups and the Four of Cups? Oh, big celebration here. What is the celebration? Three of Cups and Two of Cups and the Four of Cups. Four of Pentacles. Why is the Four of Pentacles here? He's financially stable, saving some money, it might be in his head a little bit. What else for Johnny and this offer? Johnny and this love offer? Oh, having some courage and strength to move forward to do this. He might be a little gun shy after what happened in his past. What else for Johnny, please? Ah, the Wheel of Fortune is turning in its favor, some lucky dog kind of um, feeling here, like loyalty and good luck. What else for Johnny? Who is this? Mm. He's worried about getting uh, betrayed. That's that fear coming in. Why is the fear here? Hmm. He's worried that he won't get truth. That he won't be able to trust. He has got trust issues here. Um, I can understand that and why. <laughs> totally. Okay. But he's going to move forward regardless. He's putting those fears uh, aside. What is the Knight of Wands about and the Ace of Swords? Putting that fear away here and still moving forward. He's being guided to be very loving towards and giving a cup. The King of Cups is someone that is emotionally balanced oh my goodness and there is his counterpart the queen of cups the sweetheart of the deal wow there she is but that is not vanessa he was led away from her she was already taken married he was meant to get back on top get his name cleared so he could move forward and that Wheel of Fortune is there. He's going to find his counterpart. The one he's meant to be with. What's on the bottom of the deck? King of Pentacles. Hmm. I kind of feel like this might have been Vanessa. He wanted to work things out with her. Get a love offer going but there was something going on oh that must be the marriage uh, like there would have been three people involved and spirit wasn't gonna let that happen and Vanessa might have been a counterpart in his world before when they had children before the blonde got involved there so I kind of feel like yeah it's not gonna go with Vanessa here not going to fight for that. He's going to take a leap of faith. Yeah, there's a lot of fear here. I'm worried. Everything's fine. 
He works through it though, you know. Somebody doesn't feel like there's an ending here, and I kind of feel like that's all her. The Queen of Pentacles, I feel, is Vanessa, and I think she's happy that he's happy. I think that's all that matters to her, is that he's happy. Johnny's going to find his girl, but it's not going to be Vanessa after all. In the last reading or so, I believe they always came up with the Empress and he's still showing up as the Emperor but I don't see the Empress anywhere here so Spirit might be pushing him to go a different way here his path might have changed due to something going on here The wheel of, of fortune is uh, turning though, so I like it. I like it for him. I want to see what love this is for him. Ah, oh, past life soulmate. <laughs> nice. So their souls are going to recognize each other based on a past life. They've done many lifetimes together and it might have taken a long time for these two to find each other again through this, um, through this life here. Possibly because one is a celebrity and the other one is not. So the chances of the meeting were pretty rare. Hmm. I like it still. Let's see how long it might be before they meet. And I kind of feel like this, this is um, a high level soulmate, like a very uh, past life soulmate, which is a very high level when it comes to a soulmate. I feel like maybe five days, five weeks, five months from now, these two, I don't think it's going to be five years. I kind of feel like it's more coming in uh, as that months, weeks, maybe. The Queen of Cups and the King of Cups. Now, that's Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio. But that does not mean that that is who these two are. See a lot of earth, cups, swords. I see all of the, no, not really wands though. Eh, maybe one wand, but mostly swords, a lot of air, a lot of earth. That that could be um, Vanessa as well. But what I do see is swords, air, and earth here. And a little bit of cups. So it could be Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, or Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio for Johnny's new love. <laughs> wow. All right, guys. I'm going to leave it there. Um, please like, share, and subscribe. And we will see you next time. All right. Later.